Yo, what is going on, guys? It's me and my stamina dragon eye build for Fire Song. So, we're starting by putting all our points into max stamina here. So, we got 30k health, 26k max stamina, 15k magicka, 1000 magicka recovery, 1100 stamina recovery, 4100 weapon damage, and 46% crit. 7300% penetration, 20k resistances was 1800 crit resist. For this build, I am running the warrior. I chose to run this because I want the most damage possible. Uh, smoke bear haunt you can run jewels of mistral the purple version of this food it works just as well it's just a cheaper version and then for race we are an imperial nord would work insanely well with this build as well it's just personal preference or you can run orc or something like that vampire chase 3 it's a must for any pvp build and if you're running what our crit is we have six percent crit damage and two percent crit healing our stats fully buffed up is 5800 weapon damage 2600 stamina recovery 1800 matter recovery 5300 weapon damage 20k resistances on the front bar and our back bar and our back bar is gonna be 30k onto our gear here running balorgs i chose to run balorgs because it just gives us the most overall damage you could run blood spawn or engine guardian but i really don't think you need those balorgs is definitely the better option to go with one piece trainee wretched vitality on our back bar and then way of the fire on the front bar and then our sea serpent coil for our mythic if you don't run Sea Serpent, you can run the other Mythic, Mark and Ring. They both work just as fine. This, this one gives you a snare and gives you a bunch of extra damage, where this one uh, gives you just damage and some armor. So just personal preference, if you don't want to get snared, then I definitely recommend running the Mark and Ring. For our Trace, we're running three Impen on our medium pieces here. Four Reinforce on our Heavy. So our legs, shoulder, helmet, and chest. These are all Heavy. The rest is Medium. And we're all running at Prismatic Lifts, by the way. Our Jewelry is all Infused Weapon Damage. My shield's sturdy with max stam, and then our weapon is weapon damage enchant with powered. I chose powered. I think powered is way better than defending. I always recommend powered over defending. And then for our front bar, it's sharpened, maul, but shocked. You can run poisons here if you want. It's totally up to you. All right, so the reason why I run Wretch of Vitality is because it's a very stat-dense st uh, set. You get so much out of it for just using pierced armor, and it's just so easy to keep up 100% of the time. That is just so good to have since if you have this set, then you can basically abandon sustain across the board and everything else, which gives you a bunch of extra damage. I like Way of the Fire because it gives you a nice burst damage with an extra flame damage on an auto attack. If you don't like Way of the Fire, you can run another type of burst set like Alchemist. That will work just as fine. It's just Way of the Fire is my personal preference, but Alk will work really well here as well since you have really nice burst damage with that. You also don't need any extra sustain, by the way, if you're running Wretched Vitality. This gives you infinite sustain, so you never have to worry about running any type of sustain whatsoever. That's why I really like Wretched Vitality. And then Balor's just for the extra burst damage. Abilities for running Engulfing Flames, we run this for the flame damage here. Goes up to 6%, which is nice because that increases our leap, our Flames of Oblivion here, and Whip if you want to run it. We also run Rally and Dizzy as our spammable. If you don't want to run Molten Whip, the other option I would definitely recommend running be race against time here so if you want the major expedition minor force you run race against time here and if not you want to whip for some more damage then i would recommend putting the multi whip here for our back power fragmented shield is increased our major mending for eight seconds 16 percent which is massive nice healing piercing armor this is how we proc our retro vitality so this is how we always have 100 percent uptime and it sin does really well with it resolving vigor nothing else to be said here rising blood our main heal and then hardened armor. I chose to run this since this does give you a, a nice damage sealed every time we use it, which can reduce some damage to give us some extra survivability. You could run the other morph if you want, totally personal preference, and up to you. And then corrosive armor, it's really good. What, what else did I say? Really good ult for a DK. Alright, on to our CP. For our CP, I recommend running Deadly Ain, so single target, direct damage, exploiter, and ironclad. I don't really recommend changing any of these out. Exploiter gives us 10% more damage off balance and enemies and once we use dizzy swing they're going to be off balance So every time you hit someone with dizzy you're then doing 10% more damage to them Mass arm direct damage is all our damage and single targets pretty much all our damage except our leap So this is very these are all very good to have and Then ironclad is direct damage, which is pretty much all types of damage. So you always want to pretty much have this on fortify for our red tree Pain Refuge, Sustained by Suffering, and Survival Instinct. Sustained by Suffering and Pain Refuge are really strong since you'll always have a negative effect on you, so these will always be proc. Fortify, this gives us flat damage reduction, which is really nice. 
and survival instinct but cp pass in the game 25 percent cost reduction there's a status effect on you which will pretty much be almost all the time in, in pvp so this is a very very important passive to have for a green cp i recommend gifted rider war mount ration and liquid efficiency and then you get all your passives as you see fit if you guys are wondering this will work really good in no cp too since we're running nothing that relies on cp uh, and Retro Vitality gives you enough sustain to where you can run this build perfectly fine in OCP. This is really strong in OCP as well, if you are wondering. Alright, I'm going to show you just the basic combo. These proc flames, you hit them with the engulf, then you dizzy spam. Once, you, once they're knocked down, you go for the whip here. The whip hits pretty hard. Or you can go leap into whip, so you can dizzy dizzy into leap whip, which does a lot of burst damage as well, since whip is instant. And you can proc it really easily. You also have an insane amount of survivability on the build since you're really tanky. If you guys also are wondering how to help you move while using Sea Serpent, you can bunny hop like this while blocking. You still move pretty much the exact same distance I am now with it up. So it's a nice way to get around and whatnot with Sea Serpent coil up. But once again, if you don't want to get snared and you just want to run Mark and Ring, that's totally up to you. They both work really fine with the builds, it's personal preference. And with that, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you guys do have any questions regarding the build, I'll be happy to answer anything down in the comments below. And with that, I hope you guys enjoy.